to the stand. Yes, sir. Stand tall. Yes, sir. Step forward with the right foot. One. Left foot. Cap stand. Two. Grab saber for three. Point down. Lift. Four. Step forward. Turn the saber up. Right number block up. Right knee. Cut right. Feet together. Big bow stand. Push. Shift back. Press. Jump. Push. Step back. And walk up. Turn the body dragon. Shallow dragon. Uh -huh. Shift up and block. And monkey hop. Pull down to the hip. And strike. Left hand comes out. Then fingers are pointed down. Look in the mirror. There you go. Cut off the right, push off, and double front jump kick, turn, double front jump kick, keep it up, reset, one, Your knee, lift your knee, do a crane stand, lift the knee. Don't use your staff, don't use your saber to hold you up. Yeah. Now seven. Eight, big bow stand. Yes. Nine. Get back. Ten. One, bow stand. Two. Uh, keep the saber back behind you and only push with your back behind you. Stick it out behind you. Because there's some uh, knucklehead trying to cut your head. Back here, Miss Hale. Reach it out. Yeah, yeah. And push. <laughs> and feet together. And you're going to cut. Cut right. Drag and step back and block it. Yep. Shift up and both stands. Very good. Monkey out. Go back and strike. Interesting. Drop your saber to your shoulder, Mr. Mr. Hogan. Still say still do that same motion, just aim not as high. Yes! Be together. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, now watch. Just a couple things. When you strike with the saber, this part is sharp, this part is sharp. So when we press, we're gonna press. As if we're pressing with the front, then we're going to stretch in like that. That's where that motion came from. In addition, just make sure that when you do that motion, it's not too high up, right? Because you're coming off the hip, so you're pressing right there. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, just get yeah, that and then it's just you don't have to do it as high because you're pressing in there. 
Any any questions? Okay, so outside of that, the motion of the blade for the first three, right? So we cut right, turn up, block up, and then right again. Okay, so it looks like a big circle, it's an illusion. So we cut right, let's do the sword first, turn up, push straight up, and then bring back right. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So after, if you do that fast, then it looks like it then looks like one, two, three. It looks like one, it looks like this. Right? So it's an illusion. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. And make them separate like that because when you do the, when you do separate motions fast, it gives it what you're looking for. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So don't try to create the end result. Just do those steps in order and you'll get that end result. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's give it a try one more time. Let's go, ahead. Let's go to the third one, let's go here. We're gonna lift up right, turn it, point up. Okay. Easy go. Right. Let's try it again. From here. Cat stance. And when we do this, let's resting on the biceps so I can still see. I mean, yeah, on the no, triceps, sorry. So I can still see. I'm here, and I'm going to yank this back. Cut. Walk up. Yeah. Okay, so the less obvious. The less obvious you can make this, the better. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's do it one more time. Yeah. Walk, turn, and cut. Big swing, big block, press, shift back, gain your cat, stay low, press. And jump. Cut. Try 
again, reach, dang. Yeah, that was it. Try it again. Now try it at your own pace, I won't say anything. Go.